Hey everyone, welcome to another foiled mail day episode. Today in the mail, oh, we got some spicy foils today. We got some spicy foils today. Let's get started with Prismatic Ending, a card I actually do not enjoy. But White probably deserved this, so... Here we are. One mana removal. For a lot of turn one plays. And... It's exiling, not destroying, gets around indestructibility, prismatic ending, brutal removal. We were making fun of white just like three, four months ago, <laughs> five months ago, and now look at it. Now it's got one of the best removals in the format. So there's, there's that, there's prismatic ending. Got three of those. And of course, recently I upgraded some of my Tomahawk decks, includes Stoneblade package and that, of course, meant I had to get more of these, which that means, and by more of these, I mean artifacts. Cauldra Complete. Brutal card when it comes onto the battlefield, because your opponents basically can't do anything. When I, when I see this on the battle, like, you know, if turn two, I have no answer to Stoneforge, and turn three, they, they tap, and this comes on the battlefield, I just basically auto-scoop. I auto-scoop because there's essentially nothing I can do. It just can't die. And, yeah. So, that's always nice. Of course, I only got one of these because you only ever play one. It'd be a complete waste of money to get a playset. Up next, Dam, a card you see less often. Way less often. I mean, Prismatic Ending was definitely better. But I still think that's cool. That art is pretty awesome. What's that stupid joke I made when I was going through these boxes? It's pretty damn good. Yeah. So, that's damn for you. And I believe I got, yeah, two of these. You don't need a full playset. I mean, you're never really going to play a full playset. So, save some money. Another artifact equipment that I really enjoyed playing with, Maul of the Skyclaves. I mean, the best part about it is that it gets attached the minute, the minute it enters the battlefield, right? So, that's the obvious bonus here. Flying first strike plus two plus two. Yes, please. Attach that to a Tarmogoyf and just make it hilarious. Up next, the creature that allows us to play these annoying artifact decks, artifact equipment decks. Stoneforge Mystic. Beautiful showcase from Double Masters. Look at that. Beautiful. Beauty, beauty, beauty. Look at that. Beautiful art. Very nice foiling. Typical double masters. Insane foiling. Looks really good. Look at that. Almost flat. It's no curling at all. Which is very nice, of course. Nice bonus when your foils are not curling. And there is the playset in your hand. And the last two cards, cards you play, I don't know, main, side, up to you. I still think the artwork is awesome. Sword of Feast and Famine, being one of those cards. Crazy intense foiling. I remember when I was opening up boxes of Double Masters, and it was just so hard to get good shots of these foils, because the foiling is just so intense. Look at that, beautiful. Beautiful sword, beautiful art. Of course, again, you only need one. When do you need more? You don't need. Last but not least, Sword of Fire and Ice. Now, the artwork for this is a bit darker, and it does get lost in the foiling a bit, I find. But it looks slightly better in person. Again, the, the foiling on these are just crazy and the lighting and the camera just goes nuts but if I go a bit farther yeah if I go a bit farther you could see it better see that but you guys watch these videos because of the close-ups I know so there's a close-up yeah it's not bad 
Still looks like, this is very nice art, so I'm totally happy with it. And there we go. And that's it for today's mail day. Let me know in the comment section down below about what my about my foil selections. If you agree, disagree, what you would have picked instead. I always enjoy going back and forth with you guys down there, guys and gals, I should say, down there in that comment section down below. So please let me know what your thoughts are. And of course, stay tuned for more of these. There's always foil related videos going up on Wednesdays. So yeah, just stay tuned for all of that. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy my content in general, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. It really goes a long way to help me out a lot. If you want to become a member here on YouTube, hit that join button, which should be in and around that subscribe button. Check out the different membership tiers and the different perks you get at each tier. You know, I'd love to have you as part of my YouTube community officially as a member. And I think the membership tiers are pretty interesting, have some cool little features in there. So check it out. I would really appreciate your support. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, share my content on social media, watch my content start to finish like you're doing right now. It really does go a long way, so thank you for that. Lastly, if you want to become a patron, check out the Patreon link in the description of this video. Check out the Patreon Rewards Program. In a nutshell, you give me money every month. I use that money to buy a sealed product, which I open up on this channel, and then I give you back that money in the form of rares and mythics at the end of every year. The longer you're a patron, the more rares and mythics you get. Basically, one rare mythic for every month that you're a patron. And the value of those rares are anything really between three and fifteen dollars. Some of them go even higher, as you know. So even if you average out about five a month, five dollars per rare, that's five a month. You get your money back, but odds are you'll make more. Anyway, all that information is on Patreon. There's a video on there that explains it all. We really appreciate your support. Either way, thanks and have a good one.